Hi there, my name is Kevin Fox. I'm a third year software engineering student at Carleton University, currently taking the summer 2020 semester online, and I was asked to give some feedback on how some of my courses went. I'm currently taking CISC 3310, which is an introduction to real-time systems course. It's a core component for software engineering in, the th in third year. It has a big lab component that's involved, and pretty much the whole course is how to use hardware in a lab and Considering that we're all at home now because of COVID, we can't go to the lab. So the computer systems engineering department was really good at creating a lab kit with all the hardware needed for the course, and they were able to mail it to everyone in the world. So I'm going to just give some, some thoughts on how that was able to play to my strengths at learning, as well as creating a great environment for learning. So these were the uh, key components that were in our SIS3310 lab kit. Starting back at the beginning of the uh, semester, I'm uh, quite happy of how the course kind of played out with this lab kit because these two components were the ones that we used through the entire course. This is the main board we used. It's a Texas Instrument uh, MSP432R. The main components we used were a few buttons on the side, some lights at the bottom, and we were able to, you know, turn the lights on and off, change them based on buttons. So that was a big component of our labs as well as the uh, booster pack we had. We had a joystick and an LCD screen. Uh, a buzzer that made noise and some buttons, but with the help of the lecture slides and the lecture notes, we were able to get through programming these using software for embedded systems. I'll just go over with some of the other components that we have. This is a uh, Wi-Fi adapter that was not used for our summer course, but I did take a look at how to use it. And this is a DC motor and this was a, a servo motor. They weren't a part of our labs, but they used some of the lecture theory that we learned. And if you took the time and understood how they worked, you were able to kind of plug them into our board here and turn them off and on and see them rotate, which was a cool thing. So for me to kind of get all the labs done and then have time to play around with all this stuff was a good experience. During the labs, how I presented the boards to you is actually how you had to present them in the class. You had to take a video of them with probably your phone and then upload a video of how your board worked. So being able to use a whole roundabout of skills to get a course done was uh, a fun new challenge because I never had to take videos of anything you know, my first two years at, uh, at Carleton. I did learn a lot. It was a great experience learning from home and being able to look at the labs early on in the lecture notes far in advance when the labs are due. So some things that really played to my strengths were being able to kind of know what I needed to learn for each lab ahead of time so that I was able to look at how the lectures progressed and kind of figure out a point where I can stop doing the lectures and go do the lab itself. First days of class, figure out who's who in your class and try to get a group chat going, making sure you all know when things are due, making sure you all work together, that kind of thing. It's, you know, fundamentals of engineering is being able to work with someone else because at the end of the day, if you want to be an engineer, you're going to have to work with other engineers or even people that are not engineers. Another one was now that there wasn't specific lab days that you would go in and you could be able to ask your TA questions in person, we had to ask all our questions on an online form on CU Learn. So that required uh, TAs and the professor to take some time to read your questions and get back to you. So that was another big bonus for people that did the labs early or started them early. It was that if they had questions, they could get them answered in a timely manner that would make doing the labs far more easier than doing them last minute. Try to get in good habits because you're in this for the long run. The summer semester was only six weeks, so it was went by pretty quick, but it was really heavy. Whereas, you know, the fall semester is going to be 14, 16 weeks and then an exam. So I hope whoever is listening to this will have some success with uh, the fall semester and uh, wish you all good luck.